fellow movie buster film connoisseurs it is your self-proclaimed cinema shogun here and does anyone else find it ironic that the same company that gave us a woke gender swap taskmaster the same company that said we were all sexist for not liking captain marvel are refusing to pay their female actresses that is right just as i reported earlier on scarlett johansson is currently suing disney and marvel for not paying up basically she is suing them for releasing black widow on disney plus and it resulted in her not getting a lot of the bonuses that she was supposed to get in her contract. Now, as if that isn't bad enough, Disney has now fired back. And I'm going to warn you guys, it gets kind of ugly. It gets kind of disrespectful. But before I hop into that, I just want to give a, a little bit more of my thoughts on the situation. For one, I find this ironic. I find this ironic when the woke Hollywood elites start eating each other alive. I mean, it's something, it's a sight to see. This company that people have been defending for all of this woke propaganda they stuff in their shows. I mean, we're getting gender swap and race swap characters out the wazoo. We have a Loki series that wasn't even about Loki. It was about a female Loki. And if you didn't like the series, you were a sexist. You were an evil, bigoted person. Meanwhile, the company that is providing you guys with this product is refusing to pay these women. They're refusing to even go out there and get great A talent to direct and write their material because they want to pay these people the smallest amount of money as possible because they know all of you are happily eating up the woke garbage that they're providing you with now this like i said it's getting kind of ugly we now know that the same company that's basically been pushing all this propaganda has been refusing to pay scarlett johansson basically over 50 million dollars now i think this is this is very important here because this doesn't happen with chris evans this doesn't happen with robert downey jr best believe rdj got his money but why isn't scarlett johansson getting hers Disney is finding any way possible not to pay her. Why? Because she's a woman. Why? Because these companies, they're the real ones that hate women. They want to put all of this stuff inside their movies, all of these messages inside their comic books that divide common people, that cause the real fans of this material to be turned off. Yet here they are. They don't practice what they preach. If they practice what they preach, why hasn't Scarlett Johansson gotten her money yet? Why did it take Black Widow all these years to come out? But listen, I could go off all day. Let's hop to this article. Let's see what Disney's reply was. Now, this comes to us from Variety. Disney fires back at Scarlett Johansson, calls Black Widow lawsuit sad and distressing. The Walt Disney Company clapped back at Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson, slamming the actress's breach of contract lawsuit for showing callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the Beer Bud 19 pandemic. Whew! They wasted no time in throwing this woman under the bus. They went right there. They went right for the balls. I mean, of course, we know women don't, well, I can't say women don't have balls. We all know there is a significant amount of you out there that do believe women can have balls and they can get pregnant. So let's not take it there. But they went straight for the jugular here. They went straight for the throat. They said that this, they're basically saying that Scarlett Johansson has callous disregard for any of the effects of the current scandemic that we're going through. Now, in a court filing on Thursday, Johansson said Disney's decision to send the Marvel movie to Disney Plus at the same time it was released in theaters cost her millions of dollars in back-end compensation. Those bonuses were tied to hitting box office benchmarks that Black Widow likely won't achieve. Disney is countering that it that it compiled with the terms of Johansson's deal to start an Avengers spinoff. That it complied with the terms of Johansson's deal to start an Avengers spinoff. Now, well, I, like I said in my previous video, I think that it's very important to note that I don't blame Disney Plus for the decline in ticket sales for Black Widow. You can look no further than blaming Disney for filling the need to virtue signal with a female taskmaster as to why you didn't get your bonuses. That's right, the woke backfire backfired so much that your female taskmaster cost you $50 million, Scarlett Johansson. But here's what Disney said. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. 
There is no merit whatsoever to this filing, Disney said in an unusually fiery statement. I mean, they were heated. They are pissed off. The lawsuit is especially sad and distressing in its callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the fear bud cupladimic. Because, you know, you can't say certain words on YouTube because YouTube will remove your video. So, yeah, as we're sitting here talking about this, our free speech is being threatened. But that's neither here nor there. Let's worry about the real problems in life, like Scarlett Johansson's $50 million that she is losing out on because she decided to star in a woke, <laughs> a woke SGW freaking movie. Whew. So, yes, Disney took it there. They took... They, they hesitated, not in the least bit, to go ahead and throw Scarlett Johansson completely under the bus. You would think that if they really cared about women, if they were really as woke as they say they are, you know, they would have paid Scarlett Johansson her money. I want to make it clear here that even though I find this somewhat entertaining and somewhat amusing, that they need to pay Scarlett Johansson. I mean, legally, if she signed the contract and she's supposed to get this money... You're not supposed to release this on the streaming service. So legally, y'all should pay her money. Also, morally, y'all should pay her her money. But I do find it funny that the company that constantly preaches to us and drives all these narratives down our throat while we're just trying to read some fucking comic books is now getting sued over not paying women. Like, how, how evil and hateful can a company get that they ruin your movies and ruin your comic books by pushing so much propaganda in them, by preaching to you. They act like you hate women. Meanwhile, we're sitting here, we love women superheroes. But every movie and every comic book we read is basically preaching to us that we hate women, that we're all racist, that we're all hateful people. Meanwhile, these companies are the hateful ones. They create the divides that they put within their comic books and their movies. They put all these messages in there to divide us. And meanwhile, they don't practice what they preach because they won't fucking pay Scarlett Johansson. So they are case closed. I have nothing else to say on this topic. Disney fired back, throw Scarlett Johansson under the bus, and I'm sure it is not the end of it. So I want all of you to subscribe if you want updates about the situation because i will be following this topic very closely so hit that subscribe button drop a comment down below because i know you have an opinion on this i don't care what it is i'm interested in hearing it all opinions are and point of views are always welcome on this channel while you're down there leaving a comment hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and as always find some time out of your day to go watch a movie